Okay, now let's take a look at how a missed approach procedure is designed and kind of the missed approach criteria. So number one, all missed approach procedures for standard instrument approaches use a minimum climb gradient of 200 feet per nautical mile. So that means as you're flying an instrument approach, as you climb out on that missed approach procedure, you are required to climb at least 200 feet per nautical mile. Copter procedures require 400 feet per nautical mile. The other thing with a missed approach procedure is that it assumes that you start the procedure once you arrive at your missed approach point. So your missed approach point on a precision approach or an approach with vertical guidance is decision altitude. So once you arrive at decision altitude on your final approach course, then you would turn and begin flying the missed approach segment. If you're flying a non-precision approach, then once you reach the published missed approach point, then you would begin that missed approach segment. If you start executing a missed approach early, then you need to continue along the published final approach course until you get to the missed approach point. And then you can start to follow the missed approach segment. And if you execute a missed approach late, below DA or below MDA or past the missed approach point, obstacle protection or obstacle avoidance now is your responsibility. 